Long before humans ruled these lands, two predators reigned supreme. One was built for speed, a silent golden shadow of the plains. The other was built for power, short, thick and armed with blades of bone. And on a frozen morning, their worlds collided. This is the untold battle between the American lion and the saber-tooth of the south. During the Pleistocene, massive herbivores roamed frozen steppes and giant predators hunted in their wake. Among these, two legendary cats stand out. The American lion, Panthera at rocks, in North America, and the giant saber-toothed Smilodon populator in South America. Let's meet them. The American lion stood over 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder, with a head body length approaching 3.6 meters. Large males weighed between 300 and 350 kilograms, making it one of the largest cats ever known. Fossil evidence from sites like La Brea and Yukon shows a cat more robust than a modern lion, but more athletic than a tiger. Unlike the modern lion, it may have lacked a full mane, a feature that reduced heat loss in cold climates and helped it move more stealthily across open terrain. Its skull was broad, with a shorter muzzle than the cave lion, adapted for powerful bites and endurance hunting. The American lion dominated the open plains of North America, preying on bison, horses, camels and even young mammoths. Stable isotope studies suggest it hunted across a range of habitats, from frozen tundra to temperate woodlands. Some fossil evidence from La Brea tar pits hints that American lions may have scavenged or driven off dire wolves and Smilodon fetalis from kills, indicating a powerful and assertive top predator. They survived until roughly 11,000 years ago, disappearing as the Ice Age ended and their prey herds collapsed. Smilodon populator was the largest saber-toothed cat ever discovered. Its forelorns were massively built, the body compact and muscular, with short limbs and a very short tail. Its skull was deep, housing enormous upper canines, some exceeding 28 centimeters, 11 inches in length. Compared to Smilodon fatalis of North America, Populator was bulkier and stronger, built for crushing power, not speed. In South America, Smilodon Populator specialized in taking down giants, giant ground sloths, glyptodonts, and massive herbivores like Macrocania. It was an ambush predator. It used its immense forelimbs to grab and pin prey, then delivered a deep, precise bite with its saber canines. Bustle injuries suggest that Smilodon may have hunted in groups, or at least tolerated social feeding. Each kill was a calculated risk. One wrong angle could snap its precious sabers. Let's compare. American Lion, a pursuit hunter. Fast, enduring, with long limbs built for chasing prey over distance. Smilodon Populator, close range ambusher. Immensely strong, with four limbs capable of grappling prey larger than itself. Smilodon's weakness? It's canines. Long and deadly, but fragile if misused. The American lion's weakness? Less suited for wrestling giant prey at close range. In short, the lion was the generalist, agile, enduring. Smilodon was the specialist, powerful, precise, and high risk. In reality, these two predators never shared the same land. The American lion ruled North America, while Smilodon populator was confined to South America. No fossil record connects them directly. But imagine a time when a lion ventured south, or Smilodon moved north. They'd clash over giant herbivores like bison or sloths. In such a confrontation, terrain and timing would decide everything. Open plains favored the lion's speed. Dense brush and ambush cover favored Smilodon. The American lion prowls toward a kill, muscles rippling beneath its tawny coat. From the mist, 
a smilodon appears, shoulders massive, canines gleaming. The lion charges swift and explosive. Smilodon lowers its stance, anchoring itself with immense forelimbs. They collide, claws slash, snow flies. The lion circles, looking for weakness. Smilodon lunges, locking on with a crushing grip. The lion's speed gives it an edge, but Smilodon's power halts. In our dramatization, the lion withdraws, wounded but alive. Smilodon keeps the carcass, the ambusher triumphs. So who wins? If Smilodon forces a grapple, its power dominates. If the lion stays mobile, it controls the fight. In the open, the lion reigns supreme. In close quarters, Smilodon's strength decides it. But for adaptability and endurance across climates, the crown belongs to the American lion. Both vanished as the Ice Age ended. The American lion disappeared around 11,000 years ago, Smilodon soon after. Climate change, habitat loss and the extinction of their prey sealed their fate. Yet they remain symbols of Ice Age power, one built for speed and stamina, the other for brute strength and precision. The strongest isn't the one that kills, but the one that endures. <laughs>